All right, so hopefully you've had a chance to take a look at this one and maybe give it a try. So in this problem, we have a, a certain type of light bulb that has an average, so average, average is the same as mean, so average life of 500 hours with a standard deviation, standard deviation of 100 hours. The length of life of the bulb can cl closely be approximated by a normal distribution curve and um, it says that an amusement park buys uh, and installs 10,000 such bulbs. Find the total number that can be expected to last um, for each time period below. Okay, well, so the proportion is, uh, of the light bulbs that would be expected to last would be the probability, right? It's the relative frequency, right? The probability is your relative frequency. So if we can find the probabilities, um, for these uh, durations for light bulb life, then um, we can multiply by the 10,000 and get the number of bulbs we would expect to last that for that period. All right, so this first one, um, what's the probability? We want to find the probability of, of um, a light bulb lasting at least 500 hours. Okay, so let's calculate the z-score. Now the average was 500 hours, so you can probably guess what this is, but um, so 500 minus 500, right? The, the 500 hours minus the mean is just 500 minus 500 over the standard deviation, which is 100, which gives us a z-score of zero, right? The z-score is the mean. And if you remember, the, the standard normal distribution curve um, has a mean of zero and half the, half the area lies to the left and half lies to the right. And so, um, so we don't even really need to look this up <laughs> because the probability that our, um, our light bulb life, which we'll call, that'll be our, our random variable x, is greater than 500 is equal to the probability that the z-score is greater than zero. And we know that half the probability lies to the right of um, zero. So it's just going to be 0 0.5. So we would expect that half of the light bulbs would last um, at least 500 hours. So that's 5,000 bulbs. Okay. And this next one is kind of the same thing. The Z, we want to know what's the probability that the, uh, the light bulbs less, last less than 500 hours and 500 hours is the mean so the z-score is zero so the probability that our light bulb lasts less than 500 hours is just the probability that z is less than zero and we don't even need to look that up we know just by what we know about the char characteristics of the normal um, standard distribution curve that half of the values lie to the right of the mean. So that's going to give us 5,000 bulbs. 5,000 bulbs should last less than 500 hours. Okay, bulbs, plural. <laughs> All right, so that wasn't too interesting, I guess. <coughs> so let's look at the next one. What's the probability that a light bulb lasts between 680 and 780? All right, so what they're really asking in the question is how many bulbs would be expected to last between that, uh, between those values. But if we know the probabilities, then we know the relative frequencies and we can calculate the number of bulbs. So let's take this and, and take each of these values and calculate a corresponding z-score. So 680 minus 500, which is the mean, divided by 100, which is the standard deviation, gives us 1.8. The other value, 780, is um, the z score for that is going to be 780 minus 500 divided by 100, and we get 2.8. All right, so uh, 680 to 780 is uh, 1.8 to 2.8 standard deviations from the mean, okay, above the mean. All right, so the probability that um, the light bulb lasts between a 680 and 780 is just equal to the probability, whoops, the probability, again, <laughs> back up a little. I don't want that parenthesis. The probability that um, the z-score is between 1.8 and 
um, and 2.8. All right. Now um, we can just we can just take the probability of z being less than 2.8 and subtract the probability that z is less than 1.8. Okay, and what's left over will be what's between the two values. So we get, uh, when I look this one, the first one up, I get 0.9974, uh, and the other one is 0 0.9614. Take the difference and I get 0 0.0333. All right, so that's the probability or the relative frequency. So if I just take that, um, and multiply by the 10,000 bulbs uh, that we're working with, we get 333 bulbs, okay? So we would expect 333 bulbs to last between 680 and 780 bul uh, hours. All right, so the next one is very, very similar, all right? It's just another one of those where we wanna find the, um, the probability of a bulb lasting between these two times and then multiplying by the 10,000 bulbs. So let's first of all just calculate the z-scores. 350 minus a mean of 500 divided by the standard deviation gives us a negative 1.5 standard deviations below the mean. And um, for the 550 hours we get we subtract the mean and divide by the standard deviation, we get uh, 0.5 standard deviations above the mean. All right, so we're looking for the probability that um, the bulb lasts between 350 and 550 hours. So that's going to be the same as the probability that the z-score is between minus 1.5 um, and 0.5. Okay, so I'm just going to take the, I'm going to find the probability of um, z being uh, less than 0 0.5 and subtract off the probability of z being less than negative 1.5. And then what's left will be what's between. I'm going to look that up in the table. And so let me look up and make sure I look in the right values here. I got 0 0.6915. And um, the other one is 0 0.068 or 668. Let's see, 668. All right. If I, I take the difference of those two values, I got 0 0.6247. All right. So um, that's my probability. And what I want is the number of bulbs. So I know that roughly 62.47% of the bulbs should last between 350 and 550. So I'm just going to take um, 0 0.6247 times, times the 10,000 bulbs. And I'll end up with, what is it? Um, I look at the right one, 6... <laughs> 6,247 bulbs. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of questions here. Okay, what's the probability that it lasts, that a bulb lasts less than 770 hours? All right, again, we're just gonna calculate the z-score. 770 minus 500 all over 100 gives us 2.7 standard deviations above the mean. That's our z-score. So the probability that our random variable is less than 770 is the probability that the z-score is less than 2.7, which we can just look up. So 0 0.9965 when I look it up in the table. So 0 0.9965 times the 10,000 bulbs that we're working with tells us that we would expect 9,965 bulbs um, would last less than 770 hours. That kind of makes sense. <laughs> Most of them are going to burn out before they get to 770 hours if the mean is, is 500. 
because 770 hours is 2.7 standard deviations above the mean. So, um, so that makes sense. All right. What's the probability that a bulb lasts more than 440 hours? All right. Last one here. <laughs> We're going to find the z-score, right? We're going to find the z-score. We take 400 minus the mean and divide by the standard deviation. We get minus 0 0.6. Um, so that's 0.6 standard deviations below the mean. Okay. So we would, um, so the probability that a bulb lasts more than 440 hours is going to be equal to the probability that the z-score is greater than zero, uh, sorry, negative 0 0.6. But remember that our table is set up to find probabilities for z-scores less than something. So let's use the symmetry of the table. And um, so this probability should be the same as um, the probability that a z-score is less than the negative, the opposite of this, the opposite sign. We're just going to take the opposite sign. So po we're going to make that positive um, 0 0.6. And then we could look it up. And we end up with um, 0 0.7257. All right. So, um, how many bulbs are going to last um, more than? So we need the number of bulbs. So we're going to take seventy. Well, seventy-two point five seven, zero point seven two five seven times the ten thousand bulbs that we're working with, and so we would expect about seven thousand two hundred and fifty-seven bulbs to last more than 440 hours. All right, that's it. That's it for the lecture. That was a long one. So um, it's too, a lot of examples, I guess, and a lot of doubling up on stuff. So um, hopefully you got plenty of practice and you'll be able, you'll be ready to work on the discussion questions. In fact, it wouldn't hurt for you to even get a head start on them. The, the problems in the discussion questions are very similar to the ones we just did twice <laughs> in this lecture. So, um, so anyway, I'll, uh, I'll see you in class.